Therefore, submit to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Lament and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to gloom. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he will lift you up. My question, Sister Maria Luisa, is in verse 9, Lament and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to gloom. What does James mean to say regarding this verse? If you could kindly explain this verse further. Here, he was admonishing people who were very hard-hearted. They were unbelievers. They wanted to continue living in the world, committing sin, not wanting to convert to the Lord. They were sympathizers of the gospel of the Lord. And the apostle saw that there was no worry or care or effort to please God in everything. And that is why they said that they needed to submit themselves to draw near to him. Because at that time, to whom he was preaching were to the Jews. And so he told the Jews to draw closer to God, to ask for forgiveness, to convert themselves, to cry out to the Lord and to care about all of the evil they had committed and they had looked down on the Lord. So he encourages them to lament and be sorrowful, asking God to forgive them. And they, in this way, could draw closer to God and receive God's blessings. That is what he was advising them to do at that time. Now, in this time, surely there will be people who do not believe they do not care about the things of God. And you speak to them, you invite them. And prophecy helps a lot as well, because when God speaks to that person, it is the Holy Spirit directly speaking to them in a way that God convinces people more than human beings themselves. Either way, this is the admonishment and the continuous fight that they had at that time. And we also have that. We encourage people to all be in good standing with our Lord, not just the people outside who we evangelize, but also the believer themselves who are here to really convert to God, to dedicate ourselves to the Lord, to change and to trust in God and to please God. That is what we ought to do to make an effort so God may give us the spiritual things and also at the same time blesses us with material blessings. Just as what we read in Job, what we read in Job, that God prospered him because he had a blameless heart before him. We also today who know the work of the Holy Spirit and we ought to make an effort so that our hearts may be pure and upright before him and God then provides and we will lack nothing and he will help us solve all of those things of which we need. 